My name is Derek Tigg, and we have the uh, lovely Erin Gray here. And, uh, we also want to remind everybody, and this is the important part, that you are teaching a Tai Chi class tomorrow. Oh, yes. This is the most important part of the entire weekend. <laughs> Coming to my class tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock for an hour and a half. I'll put you through some very gentle paces. I promise I'll be gentle, but you'll get a full workout from head to toe. And does anybody know what Qigong is? No? What is it? Okay. Qigong. 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 Qi means energy or life force, and gong means the discipline of or the art of. So you're learning the art of breath, the, life, the art of energy, the discipline of the life force. So recognizing that the body is a field of energy. So how do you move that energy? How do you expand that energy? How do you keep that energy balanced so that we stay healthy? So these exercises, much like yoga, but it's the Chinese version. Oh. the cell phones, please. <laughs> Uh, so it's, uh, they're gentle, easy movements combined with breath, so even if you're not in good shape, this is the way to get started. Um, and then Tai Chi is a martial art. Now, Qigong is the basis behind Tai Chi, so you kind of have to learn how the breath works and how to develop your awareness of your breath and the movement of your body, and then we'll, we'll get into a little bit of Tai Chi, but Tai Chi is like learning how to play the piano. I can show you a few notes, but it's going to take a long time to be get proficient at it. But I can teach you Qigong in one class, so I can teach you these basic movements. And what's great about them is in Chinese medicine, there are certain, um, let's see, how do I say this? Um, your, your health is based on, on your emotions. In other words, if you have a tendency to have too many emotions in the fear level, that affects your kidneys. If you're a person who's always in anger and rage, that affects your liver. If you're a person who worries all the time, that affects your stomach. And every organ has a paired organ. So if you're working on your lungs, you're also working on your large intestine because if there's a dysfunction in your lungs, there's a good chance that dysfunction starts in your large intestine and so on. So I'll go over more of this tomorrow in class to go through it, but I will teach you an exercise for every organ in the body. So you can have control over your health. If you're having kidney problems or lung problems or anything like that, you can learn to do these exercises that are directly related to that particular organ or do all the exercises so that your entire body stays nice and strong. And you can sign up at the uh, front desk for anybody yeah. right? tomorrow at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, yeah. Uh, right. Just wear comfortable clothes, easy to move in. Most likely we wear socks so your feet are on the floor and set the floor. So, um, well, I got a whole bunch of uh, your uh, credits here. We all know about um, battles, um, not battles, uh, so <laughs> Wonderful film. 
Um, and Tim O'Connor, who played Dr. Hewer in Buck Rogers, gets to play one of the key characters. I won't tell you who or what because it gives away too much of the movie, but he's sort of a man who's one minute there and the next minute he's not. So I think I'm seeing things. But anyway, uh, and it was great working with him. He was fabulous. Then I did another movie called Ghouls, and that's going to be on the Sci Fi Channel. Shot that in Romania, which was very interesting. I've never been to Romania before. Don't think I want to go back. But there were some very attractive, beautiful areas in the mountains and so on. But it is a very depressed country, and it was interesting to see what happened after the communism, uh, communist rule of so many years. And, and they got a long ways to go. I mean, I must say, I came home and I really appreciated America. We had a great country here. Uh, yeah, no doubt about it. Um, and then I did another movie with Gil Gerard from Buck Rogers. We did our first movie together in a long time called Meltdown. And it's showing actually this month on the HERE Network. Now you're going to write HERE Network. It's a gay channel, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, we like the, the, the story. Is, the story is quite good. Actually, I don't know what's gay about it, except maybe there's a female couple, but that's it. Uh, the, the story itself is kind of interesting. It's about a nuclear melt meltdown, uh, and it's also happening during a hurricane and a tsunami warning, and they're trying to fix the, the computers that are running the, the, uh, the nuclear plant and so on and so forth. And we play the suits back on the mainland who are in denial of what's really happening and then Gil and I are at, at odds with each other too. We get so much fun. How's he, how's he doing after the surgery? He had the gastric bypass. He is doing fantastic. He lost 150 pounds. Oh, he looks good. awesome. Did he put the surgery as kind of a reality, celebrity uh, surgery? Actually, he, did, he, he produced a documentary himself about it and had it aired on the Discovery Channel. And I thought it was pretty incredible the way he was able to be so honest and open about the, what he suffered through and, and the difficulties of being so overweight and then, and then the battle of making the decision to go through the surgery and then how, how the surgery was and how his particular surgery is different from other kinds of um, lap laparoscopic surgeries. Yeah, well, the, the, New York, the New York Post, never known for its tact, reviewed the show and called him Pork Rogers in the 20th century, and that was it's really tact. I think so, yeah. I, I think what we need to focus on is that he, he did his own hero's journey, and it was an incredible battle, and, and he won, and he looks awesome, and he's 32-inch waist, and, you know, just looks great. The other day, we were in Atlanta, Georgia together at Dragon Con, and he was, like, taking my suitcase throwing on one arm and going, show off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and the year before, he could barely walk down the game like So, you know, I think what he's done was incredible. Um, that was three movies. Then I also did a guest appearance on David Kelly's new series, which came and went, but it was a lovely series while it was here. It was called Wedding Bells. And I played the mother of a young girl getting married, and her fiancé, husband-to-be, was um, quite flamboyant. And kept saying, I'm not gay. Okay? I just like feather boas. <laughs> and, you know, as parents, we were trying to say, I think there's something wrong with this picture. And she's saying, oh, no, no, he really is straight. Sex is fabulous. And we're like, we don't want to know about that, okay? We just want to know that he's straight. But anyway, it was a fun episode. I also did a movie last fall called Loaded with Jesse Metcalf. And I played Jesse Metcalf's mother. Let me tell you, that is very difficult. I mean, I may, I may be a lot older, but believe me, the hormones are still going, and I take one look at Jesse Midkamp going, I can't play your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she's so cute. She's really 